Thank you and welcome this afternoon. This is an afternoon we've all been waiting for. Isn't this exciting? Two years ago, I presented Nathaniel in piano. Last year, piano and violin. This year, violin. He tells me he started playing the fiddle when he was three and the piano when he was four. So I guess that's why he's chosen the fiddle. <laughs> yeah, Peter Wynn is his violin teacher. And this young man has just graduated from Classen School of Advanced Studies and eight universities and music schools won him. University of Oklahoma, University of Texas. Northwestern University in Denton, Rush University in Houston, Oberlin in Ohio, University of Columbus in Georgia, University of Michigan, University of Indiana, and the Northeast Conservatory in Boston. And he will tell us where he's going to go later. So you can think about where you think he's going to go. Not that exciting? So now we have this wonderful Nathaniel.
Now we'll have a whole, a whole rest of our afternoon with romance, with Schumann's piano and violin sonata. Schumann, of course, was born in 1810, right in the middle of Romanticism. And it's Schumann's music that uh, they use for an example as the most important music in the Romantic era. So Schumann is very, very special. And then he'll end up with the lovely Tchaikovsky. Oh, it's so beautiful. When Tchaikovsky first wrote his violin concerto, it wasn't very popular. Someone said, um, I think Anton Rubinstein, who started the uh, St. Petersburg Conservatory, he didn't think it would ever last. It was just too difficult. And of course, it's one of the most popular things that ever was. I was lucky. I w went to Russia on a people-to-people -people mission. And we visited the Moscow Conservatory, the St. Petersburg Conservatory, and we went to the home of Tchaikovsky, the summer home at Klin, K-L-I-N, Russia. I saw his hat, his bed, the table that he wrote the Nutcracker on, and the Pathetique Symphony, and his piano, which I was lucky enough to get to play. So, Tchaikovsky means, a, I've always loved his, I think, I think the fifth symphony of Tchaikovsky was the symphony that made me fall in love with symphonies. So I've always loved Tchaikovsky. And we've all enjoyed Nathaniel's playing, and we will welcome Jennifer Song, who is going to be his accompanist. So, with no further ado, here are our beautiful performers, Nathaniel and Jennifer.
good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming to this concert. Uh, first, before I play this special piece for all of you, I would like to thank uh, Mrs. Virginia Campbell for inviting me for the Piano Artist Series for the past three years. So, oh, my thank pleasure. You. Uh, next, I would like to thank my accompanist, Hee Hee Song. Um, and then, um, Gabriel, where are you? <laughs> I would like to thank my page turner, because uh, he's good turning pages. And it's really important as a page turner. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so here is the news you guys probably have been waiting for. Um, which college am I attending? So out of the eight, or sorry, nine colleges that I auditioned for, um, I got into eight, and it was a very tough decision, but um, I received a scholarship offer from the Columbus State University Schwab School of Music, and it was a full ride plus a $20,000 stipend. So I'm happy to say that I'll be going to Schwab School of Music. Um, this last piece uh, is kind of special. It, um, it's called Estherita, and it's by Manuel Potse. It was arranged for violin by the great violinist uh, Yasha Heifetz. And so I would like to play this for you as like kind of a heartwarming uh, type of uh, ending song, I guess, yeah. <laughs>
Well, what an afternoon. And to end with Estrellita by Manuel Ponce. I wrote my thesis on Manuel Ponce, and that beautiful song that you heard, Estrellita, it was written by Ponce when he was only 19. And the world just took it over. One time he went to Montevideo to give concerts, and he went to a movie, and Estrellita was the music that was played in the movie. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I want to uh, you all to come to the Great Hall now and greet Nathaniel and his family, and his mother and dad and grandmother are here. And um, I want to announce, can you believe, the last concert of our season is next month, the 19th of May, and it will feature Kyle Dillingham and moi. <laughs> so you all come for May 19th when I'll play with Kyle. Kyle came to my home about 10 years ago, and he opened his violin, I opened my piano, we played a few, a few bars, and it was instant musical marriage. So we've given about 10 concerts. So we'll love to entertain you all, and I know how much you love Kyle. So this is Sunday, the 19th of May at 2.30, right here. And I'm getting next year's series already started. I've already talked to Cristiano Figueroa and uh, the Chilong Hu and the Paganini Trio will be returning uh, Juami Torred from Spain, the guitarist. So I'll have news about that next month, okay? So have a lovely afternoon and come and meet our wonderful artists. And thank you for coming. <laughs>